Hi everyone, it's Nicole Steele, thejoyfulstamper.com. Welcome, it's Tuesday afternoon, time for the Happy Half Hour live stamping class. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and every week at Tuesday, every week on Tuesday at two o'clock, right here on my Facebook page, I do a live stamping class and I try to keep it to about a half hour. So um, whether you're joining me live or you're watching the replay, Welcome. Let me refresh my screen here so that I can see any comments that you might have. If you have a question or a comment, I check the screen regularly throughout this live, so just type it and I'll notice it and I can answer it. So let's see here. Yep, we are good to go. All right. My dog Lily should be nice and tired because she just spent the morning at the groomers and that tends to tire her out because she really doesn't like to go. So she always sleeps. It's kind of like when you had little kids and you used to take them to, oh, I don't know. I used to go to mother's morning out or maybe some of you took your kids to preschool and uh, <laughs> they would become home tired and then they would sleep all afternoon. That's kind of how my dog is when she goes to the groomers. So Stampin' News. Celebration is still going on. So if you don't have a celebration uh, catalog or you don't have the mini catalog, make sure you email me at Nicole at the joyful stamper.com and I will send you a catalog package. So celebration, if you're new to stamping or stampin' up, what is celebration? Well, simply put, it's stampin' up's the biggest promotion of the year. For every $50 you order, you can pick a level one item out of this catalog for free. For free everybody loves free for every hundred dollars you order you can pick a level two item out of this catalog for free also there's a bunch of different things in here papers stamp sets dies punches we're actually going to use one of the punches today and coming on March 3rd there's going to be a second release of free celebration items all of these are while supplies last so if you have your eye on something that's part of the celebration promotion don't wait you want to get it there's already been one item that is sold out, and that is the metallic twine and sequins combo pack. And I used it on my Facebook Live projects last week, and it's gone. They sold out. So it truly is while supplies last. So get your order in if you have your heart set on something in these celebration catalogs. Also, Paper Pumpkin, the March kit. They're celebrating seven years. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly stamp kit. You subscribe to it. It's all inclusive, meaning it's got the stamp set, it's got the ink pad, it's got the adhesives. All your project pieces are cut, scored, ready for you to assemble. It's got instructions, of both written and video, and you get a monthly newsletter that shows you alternate ideas for putting your kit, your kit together. So in March, though, it's really special. See that box? Normally you get uh, this reddish orange box, and they're fun to get in the mail. It's fun to see it in your mailbox, but for March, it's going to be this really cute box. It's cute. Spring themed. It's cards this month. And there's going to be an additional free stamp set in there. And it's to celebrate Paper Pumpkin's seventh birthday. So if you've been thinking of joining or signing up for Paper Pumpkin, now's the time to do it. Do it by March 10th. You'll get this kit. And if you get a prepaid subscription, you will earn celebration items from that catalog I just showed you for free. It's a really good deal. It's the best time of year to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. And they're very portable. You can take them with you wherever you go. So um, please share this video. If you share it and you type shared in the comments, because sometimes Facebook doesn't let me see who shared this video, type shared in the comments and I'll put your name in a drawing for a free pack of, well not a free pack, it's, it's a prize, so it's free, yeah, for a pack of handmade cards. So if you win, I draw your name, I will announce it and you will have two weeks to give me your address. So I so appreciate you sharing this video. It helps me with my little business here on the internet, The Joyful Stamper. So type shared, share it, and I'll, if I draw your name, I'll send you these cards. Last week's winner, Marianne Rezio, you need to still notify me with your, or message me your address so I can send you your cards because I drew your name for sharing uh, last week's, or two weeks ago, from sharing two weeks ago's video. So Marianne Rezio is from two weeks ago and haven't drawn this week's winner yet. 
So that is all for the Stampin' Up! news. Um, I have a weekly newsletter now, so if you don't want to be notified of things late, like the clearance rack being updated, because that stuff goes pretty fast, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. I have a sign-up form right here on my Facebook business page, or you can go to my site, thejoyfulstamper.com, and there is a tab to sign up for my weekly newsletter there. And it's a lot of fun. Who doesn't like getting happy mail, right? There's nothing bad about it. It's all good. It's all fun. You need to go sign up. So, all right, close your eyes because if you get dizzy, I'm going to flip the camera down now and I don't want anybody getting all woozy. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to flip it down. Close your eyes and I'll let you know when I have it set up. So uh, we'll be ready to stamp here. Okay, I think I'm in position now, ready to stamp. It looks straight. We're good to go. Okay. Ah, oh, I did draw a winner from last week. I did, that's right. It's in my notes. Jim Glenna McNutt. I'm guessing that's a combined husband-wife name. You, I drew your name for sharing it last week, so you're going to get a pack of handmade cards as a thank you for sharing it. So make sure you message me your address so I can mail those to you. So two weeks you have to get me your address. So, All right, so these are the two cards we are going to make today. Aren't they cute? I love them. Let me turn my light down here. I always forget that part. Always forget that part. Okay, let me move this up a little bit, too. I feel like I'm out of the camera, just a hair. Okay, there we go. So this, I showed you this paper last week because I was so excited about it, and i just gotten it in the mail. It is the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper, and it, you're not going to find it in any Stampin' Up! catalog. It is called, we call it an out-of-publication release. And Stampin' Up! just released it. These are meant to coordinate with products that are already existing with Stampin' Up! So this particular paper coordinates with four of our punches, and I'm going to use them all today. I'll show you samples for using them all. So we have this, and you get three sheets each of this 12 by 12 paper. So you get three of this paper, and this coordinates with the Heart Punch Pack, which I just got done using a ton for Valentine's Day. And then... We have this sheet, which you can use the Umbrella Builder Punch to punch out both the umbrella top and the handle. And this. This has to be my favorite, these raindrops. we got three sheets of those. And then this one coordinates with the Tulip Builder Punch, where you can punch out both the leaf and the tulip. And the back is this awesome, distressed, granny apple green print. You'll get three sheets of those. And then the last sheet in the pack, and I don't have an untouched sheet because I've cut into all of these. This print, use, you can punch these flowers out with the small bloom punch, which is a free celebration item. Hi, Jane. Welcome. And this is the back. I think this might actually be my favorite print. I like that it's a rainbow, but in the non-traditional rainbow colors. So you'll get three sheets of that also. So I've already cut into it, and actually a class that I'm having tomorrow, we um, these are two of the cards we're gonna gonna make, and I'll show you the other two. So, which to do first? I think this one. We'll do this one first. So set this one aside, and I have to make sure I don't lose it because I have a habit of misplacing things on my desk when I craft, or they just run away. I don't know. It's so easy to lose things on a messy craft desk. All right, so I've got my pieces all ready to go. And what we're starting with is a five and a half or f um, eight and a half by five and a half piece of balmy blue cardstock. And I scored it down the middle at four and a quarter inches. And I have a project sheet on my blog, thejoyfulstamper.com. You can click it and it gives you all the measurements for the two projects we're doing today and also has all the supplies and the links to those supplies in my online store. So you don't need to write any measurements down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this a nice crisp fold with the bone, my bone folder. Then I have a piece of that cute, 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 cute 
Please just punch designer series paper and this is cut to five and a quarter inches by four inches. So what's nice about cutting it that size is, well, it's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So when you cut it five and a quarter by four inches, you are gonna get six pieces of this from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So if you're somebody that likes to mass produce cards, you can make six of these from one sheet of that 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so we have that glued on. Then next, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I die cut using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Now since I'm using the Stitch So Sweetly dies on all four of the cards I'm gonna show you today, I will show you the dies. These are found in the mini catalog and each of these they nest within each other, but they're rectangles with a scalloped edge and a, a stitch line around it. And you get a lot of them. I wasn't expecting to get so many, even though the catalog tells you how many. But one, two, three, four, five, six, you get six of these rectangles and you'll get four of these labels. And they're also stitched. And we're going to use these a lot today. So you're going to see them in all their different variations. Hi, Mike. Thank you for joining me. Now we're going to stamp the greeting and the greeting is from the under my umbrella stamp set now you can find this stamp set in the mini catalog and the umbrella punch the umbrella builder punch is meant to punch out those three images in this under my umbrella stamp set you can buy them separately or you can get them as a bundle and save 10 percent but what caught my eye about this is I thought it would be so fun to color these boots and these flowers and I thought that the, the greetings in here were really sweet. So that's why I got this set. Plus, of course, I love the samples in the catalog. Isn't that what always sells you on something? The samples, how somebody uses it, right? So I'm going to use Calypso Coral ink to stamp my greeting on my piece of Whisper White cardstock, my stamp. There we go. And I'm going to use Rain or Shine, You're Always on My Mind. So ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it in the lower right corner of this die cut piece because I want room for my umbrella and the ribbon bow that I'm going to add later. So I'm going to close my ink pad. All right. And what I did, let me get my punch here. This is the umbrella builder punch. And what I did is I, if to, in order to punch the images out of the designer series paper, you may need to trim some of the pieces out because the punch only has so far of a reach into the paper. Let me see if I can find that particular sheet and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the full sheet. So I want to get the umbrella part. And if I go along the edge, I mean, I can, I can reach those umbrella ones. But if I want, you know, any of those ones, you're going to have to trim them out in order to be able to reach them. And I already had gone ahead and do that. So the umbrella I'm using is different from the one in my sample, but that's okay because all the colors are meant to go together. That's what's so nice about using Stampin' Up! products is Stampin' Up! coordinates everything for you. So you can go rogue if you want and mix and match it however you want, or you can do do it the way they have it done and I'm happy with that so I think it looks cute now to punch out the umbrella handle I am going to have to cut out a piece from this um, designer series paper so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this one right here just like that okay And you can see with the direction that this is going, I still, I can't reach it. So I'm going to have to cut that part off. And I don't want to cut into it because I'll probably fussy cut this out and use it on another project. Now that piece is too small to put into the punch and to be able to hold it and punch it. So I'm going to use a post-it note trick. Where you take a post-it note and you stick it on the piece that you want to put into the punch and then slide it into your punch and I'm gonna line that up with the handle and give it a squeeze and it pops right out and there's a little bit of the post-it note stuck on there but I'll peel that off so there we go we're good so there's my umbrella handle there's like that and I am going to tie 
my bow. This is Pineapple Punch Grow Green Ribbon. This is found in the annual catalog. And Pineapple Punch is one of Stampin' Up's in colors. And it's an in color that's retiring this year. I'm gonna fix that. So Stampin' Up releases five new colors every June. And those five colors stick around for two years. So this year, the retiring in colors are Pineapple Punch, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, and Call Me Clover. And what happens is, is when April comes, they put these things, everything that has these colors goes on the retiring list, and they sell out like that. So... If you know you want any of anything in these five retiring colors, my advice is to get it now. The cardstock especially goes first. It gets sold out first. Next is usually the ink refills. All right, and I'm just going to use multi-purpose liquid glue to put that on my card base just like that. And I'm going to use a dimensional on this umbrella here if I can find them. There we go. I have an adhesive drawer right behind my desk, or right beside my desk. And sometimes I gotta dig through it to find what it is I'm looking for. Some people are so organized with their, I can see this is crooked. Some people are so organized with their craft rooms. And I know where everything's at, but if you were to come in and look at my area, you wouldn't know where anything's at. Because I tend to just throw everything into baskets. And, but I know where it's at. Isn't that what matters? Because I'm the one stamping, right? In my space. All right, I'm gonna use a fine tip glue pen to glue on this little handle. And if it makes it easier, you can use tweezers to hold onto this handle while you apply the glue. But I'm okay with getting a little bit of glue on my fingers. However, it looks like I'm gonna get it on my card. But it's all right because we're gonna make those raindrops look twinkly and shiny anyways. Okay, there we go. I got my handle, my umbrella handle on there. Don't forget to put the cap back on your fine tip glue because it can dry out pretty fast if you don't. All right, and then I'm gonna use a glue dot to put that pineapple punch ribbon on. Actually, looking out my window, this is actually quite a good card for today because it's rainy where I'm at. Rainy days are my favorite kind of days. I know, I know I'm kind of weird, but my youngest daughter's the same way. She loves a good rainy day. You can curl up and read or drink some hot tea or something, whatever. Oh, I see that I have a rhinestone on there too. So let's put one of those on. I'm just going to stick it on like that. I am loving how this card's turning out. Now, there's two ways that you can get a little bit of shimmer here on your raindrops. The first way is if you have the, uh, what's it called, shimmer crystal effects, which it's a glue, but it acts as a glaze, and there's a little bit of shimmer and glitter in it. You can apply that to the raindrops, and that would be one way to get them shiny and glimmery. I don't have the shimmer crystal effect, so I'm gonna use my Clear Wink of Stella pen. And what the Clear Wink of Stella pen, pen is, it's, you paint it on and it's shimmery. It's light glitter, but it's not as messy as glitter. So, and what I'm gonna do is start, and you can, this is the same method you would use for the shimmer crystal effects too. Start at the base or the fattest part of that raindrop and draw it up to where it gets skinny. And that way you'll get a perfect look. Now I know on video and on camera it's really hard to see the shimmer. It's something that definitely has a much more potent effect in person. But you're going to be giving somebody this card and they're going to see it in person. So when you give it to them, they are going to see the shimmer that you put on it. And it's so easy to do this. It's like painting. And I just going over all those white, all those raindrops that are white. Now I will hold it up and I'm gonna twist it and turn it to see if perhaps the light catches any of it. Hi Clarissa, thanks for watching. 
I don't know if you can see that shimmering at all. It's very subtle, but when you have this card in person, you can definitely notice it. And it's one of those little things that your card will look really cute if you don't do this, but it's going to look even cuter if you do do it. It's just, you know, one of those little extra touches that you do to make something extra special, going the extra mile. That's what we're doing with this card. So there's my first project. So you can see, you can punch out any of these umbrellas from this designer series paper and any of them will work on these cards because like I said, Stampin' Up! is good about making sure all their colors and patterns go together. So any of them will work. And this particular pattern, you'll get six pieces from one 12 by 12 sheet. So you can make six of these cards with all kinds of different umbrellas. And you know what, wouldn't that be a cute note card set? That would be a really cute gift with all those different umbrellas and you can do different kinds of different colors of uh, ribbon too if you wanted to. That would be super cute. All right, that's project number one. Project number two is this one, a vase of tulips. All right, so what we're gonna do with this one is, yes, Clarissa, it is the perfect card for a rainy day. It's raining here where I'm at too. So, and you guys, I know we're only two hours, what, east of us? West, west of us, so you sent it over, but that's okay because I like rain. We're using Granny Apple Green. Don't you like this bright green? Oh, I love it. So it's five and a half, eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and I scored it down the middle at four and a quarter, and now I'm going to fold it and give it a nice crisp crease with the bone folder. And same thought pattern with this card, too. I cut a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of this um, Please Dis Punch designer series paper pattern. I love this distressed look on this. And this is still granny apple green. It's just distressed and faded. And I'll put some liquid glue on the back. So you also can get six pieces of this from a 12 by 12 sheet because of the dimensions that it's cut at. And I'm gonna adhere this to my the front of my granny apple green card base. All right, then let me get out my little packet of goodies here. I have die cut from a piece of vellum, a stitched so sweetly scalloped shape. So those dies that I showed you here earlier, the stitched so sweetly dies, now I'm using the largest of those rectangles to die cut that piece out. And I'm not gonna adhere this yet, the reason being Vellum can be a little tricky to adhere because you can see the adhesive through it. So what I'm going to do is put all of my pieces first on my vellum and that way when I go to glue the entire thing on, I'll be able to see where to apply the adhesive because I'll know where it's going to be hidden since everything's going to be on top of it. So we're just going to work with this vellum piece for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to punch out with the Tulip Builder Punch some tulips and leaves. and. I'm going to show you how I made that vase there. So this vase, I took this die here from the Stitch So Sweetly die set and I die cut a piece of that rainbow paper and the flowers patterns on the other side. So I die cut that with this piece. Then what I'm going to do is take my paper snips, which I can't find them now, <laughs> figures. We'll get another pair of scissors. Oh, wait, here they are. Here they are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this bottom part right here to give this a flat bottom so that it'll look more like a vase. All right, so I cut that piece off. And the next part I'm going to cut off is this little half circle at the top. Right? straight across just like that okay so now we have a vase and anytime I'm trying something like this and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out I always make myself a template out of scratch paper you know an old piece of computer paper and I die cut it and I trim some of the pieces off to see if I could get it to look like a vase and it worked so this just saves you some paper you don't want to use your good paper to try something out always use your scratch paper so we made a vase. We went from this die cut 
to this vape to making this into a vase so I love it when I can use stuff like that in different ways and turn them into different things it just it makes it so much more versatile now what I did with this piece is I trimmed it from a sheet of the designer series paper so that it would make it easier for me to punch these flowers out so I'm gonna use the tulip builder punch and you can see it punches out both the tulip and the leaves and it takes a, it takes a little bit of finagling here to make sure that you get all of these so the first thing I'm going to punch is this little leaf and it's okay that we're going to punch out partial leaves because I'm going to tuck them into my vase so they're all going to get used on this card here these were partial leaves but I tucked them down in there so that you couldn't see that part of them got cut off now I have to trim a little bit to be able to reach that flower that tulip there and I'm just gonna put this in there and line it up and punch that one out okay and then trim that away and I'm gonna punch this one out next line that up I think I need to cut that away a little bit so it was Valentine's Day on Friday and my husband and I, I don't know, we're very practical people, very practical people and honestly flowers are not my love language. They are not, but you know what is my love language? Chocolate. Chocolate and Five Guys. So yep, we went to Five Guys for our Valentine's Day dinner and we were nice enough to take our kids with us too. Yeah, we're pretty amazing parents. We took them to, val to dinner on our own Valentine's Day date. So, but it was fun. We had a good time. And I got a chocolate milkshake, and you can't beat Five Guys Fries. I'm going to do my post-it note trick with this again. You cannot beat Five Guys Fries. They have the best French fries. I like that they leave the potato skins on. And they cook them to just the right amount of crispiness. My middle daughter loves French fries, and Five Guys are her favorite too, so anytime we can go there, it's fun. But yeah, so that was our Valentine's Day date, Five Guys, and then going to Target to return a Christmas gift. So, <laughs> pretty exciting. <laughs> I had fun though. I had fun. I was with my family, you know? So, okay. Then, um, we're going to use dimensionals to put that on. And I'm going to use dimensionals because I want to be able to tuck my flowers into the top of that vase. So I need room to do that. And lifting this up off of the paper lets me do that. So I'll take those little liner pieces off. And I'm going to line it up with the bottom of this vellum piece. There we go. And we're going to put dimensionals on the back of those tulips. And I'm just going to put one on the back because I want room to put those leaves wherever I want them to go. And I actually might punch out a few more. I don't know. Not sure yet. So, okay, we've got that tulip and we've got that tulip. And now for these leaves, I think mini dimensionals would be appropriate here because they are smaller. Okay. those on. I love that they came out with these tiny dimensionals. Um, however, <laughs> you have to have a little bit of dexterity to get the liner paper off because they are tiny. I used to just cut the bigger ones in half, which you still could do, but then you get adhesive all over your scissors and just this is much easier. So, okay, so like a little piece like this that was only partial, I'm just going to tuck it in there like that so you don't even know that it, whoop, I can see it. some of the post-it notes still stuck on there. Um, you don't even, you won't even know that it's not a full leaf. Same with this one. It's a partial one, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Well, it wouldn't be normally coming out the side of the vase, so... Let's see if we can do this. So you just have to play around with it and see which way it looks best to you. You'll know. You'll know. Okay, that looks good. All right, except maybe I want to move this one over a little bit. I fuss when I craft. Sometimes I just need to stick it down and be done, right? 
done is done. Perfection is the enemy of done. There we go. Looks good to me. All right. Now, again, stitched so sweetly dies for this one. And I'll show you the pieces I used. I used the smallest scalloped rectangle to die cut that vellum piece out. And I used the smallest stitch label piece of that set to cut that one out. So I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this particular die set. Now I'm going to stamp the word hello and I'm using just memento tuxedo black ink and this hello comes from the timeless tulip stamp set and that's what this builder punch is meant to coordinate with. So this punch will punch out this large flower and this leaf right here. And what caught my eye about this set was all the fonts. Hello, happy birthday, get well, happy Mother's Day, happy Easter. You can use that for sympathy. You can use that for thinking of you or a thank you. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. Lots of ways to use this stamp set. And even though I'm not a flower kind of girl, you know, real flowers, I really appreciate stamped flowers. I always tell people if I could stamp a garden, I would have a gorgeous yard. All right, that didn't come out quite right. Ugh, I can't use the back because that's a scrap. So we're going to go with that. All right, and we're going to adhere that on. And I'm going to use snail to put this, um, the vellum on. Just run a strip right down the center like that. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my vase. And then the hello, I'm going to run a line of snail down the middle. And I'm going to put it right in the middle over top of that small piece of vellum. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add two little rhinestones on either side of this word hello. Now, I send thinking of you cards out every month to people that are homebound and I so I especially use a lot of hello and thinking of you cards see now that this is over top of the vellum we know where to put our adhesive so I can run snail down this and I know it's going to be hidden and I'll put that right there there we go and the final finishing touch which shh, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but this is actually retired twine, but I thought it went with it so well. And we have other options too, like Grapefruit Grove, Grow Grain Ribbon would go nicely with this, Whisper White Baker's Twine would go nicely with this, or um, Daffodil Delight Ribbon, Roost Ribbon would go with that. So we do have other options, but you know what? I don't have those in my craft studio. They're in the catalog, they're available, but I don't have them. So I'm using what I do have, and it's this pool party twine. But here's the thing. If you place a $35 or more order with me by this Friday, and you use this reward code right here, I will send you the project kits to make this card and this card for free. And I will have this twine already tied in a bow for you. So. It doesn't matter that it's retired for your purposes because you're going to get it in your project kit anyways. So it's all good. It's all good. And now I'm going to trim it. And there we go. There's the second card. And I'll bring out these ones too. Those are our first cards, but wait, I said I had four projects. These ones I'm not going to make on camera, but I have already made them, and I will show you how they use the designer series paper. Because I said that this designer series, please this punch, uses four punches. So we use the tulip builder punch, we used the umbrella builder punch on that card, and now I'm going to show you this card right here. This one uses the heart punch. So actually this heart punch, you it's a heart punch pack. So you get this heart punch and then you get a scalloped heart punch also. It's this unscalloped heart punch in that pack that punches out these hearts here. 
let me grab the sheet of paper that it uses this one right here you can punch out any of these hearts Aren't these gorgeous colors together? You can make a monochromatic card where it's all gorgeous grape or all blushing bride, you know? Um, or you can do what I did and mix the colors up. So this is a Coastal Cabana card base. And I use, these two pieces of paper here are from the Golden Honey Designer Series uh, paper pack, which is a free celebration item in the catalog. So if you order $50, you could get this pack of paper for free. It's called Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. And I saw this idea from another demonstrator, Erica Serwin. She used the striped paper and I thought it looked really striking. And I added this piece underneath and I made different colors of hearts rather than keeping it monochromatic. And this sentiment, what a beautiful difference one single life makes, that comes from the Timeless Tulip stamp set. So because the greetings just, they're so versatile, I love them. And then these are clear faceted gems. So the heart punch pack, we'll punch those out. Then the fourth punch that coordinates with this Please Just Punch Designer Series paper is the Small Bloom Punch. And this is a free celebration item also with a $100 order. And it punches out the little flowers in um, three of the sheets here. Let me pull one out. This one right here. You can punch out any of these flowers with this small bloom punch. And the only way to get this punch is with a $100 order because it's, it's free. It's part of celebration. So I punched out three of the flowers and I glued them with Stampin' Dimensionals to a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I die cut with those scalloped stitch sweetly Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I took a, stri a piece of the stri rainbow striped paper from this Please Dis Punch pack and glued it down. This is Mango Melody. I cut it to five and a half by two inches, and I tore it in half, and I made the torn ends facing outward. This Happy Birthday is from the Timeless Tulip stamp set, and this is a Granny Apple Green card base. So, and I have these cards also included in my project sheet. They're the bonus cards at the end of that sheet. So, I will pull all four projects out. This is what we made today. Pretty colorful, especially for a rainy day, don't you think? I, oh my gosh, I, just, I can't tell you how much I love this paper. I actually want it as part of a challenge in my um, team leaders uh, group. And I didn't know this was the, what my price was. And so I came home one day. There was a box sitting on my porch. I opened it up and I saw this Please Dis Punch paper. And I actually started jumping up and down and screaming. I'm almost 45. And it was in the, my neighborhood in the middle of the day. I didn't care. I was so excited because I'd been wanting this paper for so for ever since it first came out a couple weeks ago. So I was so happy to get it and play with it. And now I'm going to... Um, we're making these projects in my class tomorrow afternoon. I was so excited. So... I hope that you liked what I made today and I hope you'll share this video and if you want the project kits to make these two cards right here just place a $35 or more order before shipping and tax in my online store use this reward code right here and I will get these in the mail to you so I am so thankful for you joining me today whether you're joining me live or watching the replay I so appreciate you and thank you so much for supporting my business here on the internet so I will see you guys um, in two weeks because I won't be here next Tuesday I have family coming in and I won't be able to do a live because it's little kids so <laughs> it will be hard to do a live then so thanks guys for joining me today bye